this is my lunch it's leftover indian food i know it looks kind of messy but it's so good so there's garlic naan some yogurt uh this is a little bit of uh, chicken biryani with uh regular uh rice that i mix together and there's some chicken bindaloo under there and uh samosa and that's leftovers from yesterday it's so good so good love indian food here i am in the basement again as you can tell none of this stuff has been looked through yet if you watch my thanksgiving break video i just ugh, i just don't want to look through it and then back there is all christmas uh decorations from the old house that i should look through we're probably not gonna do it this year though um using those decorations and i'm also down here to bring up plates and dishes and things that we need for tomorrow wednesday here is my to-do list that i said i was going to share with you so this is monday and i've crossed out some things and i will do most of this stuff a little bit later it's still too early to unfreeze the seafood um and then here's tomorrow's and then there's wednesday's and i'll definitely be adding stuff for sure and i got this uh i'm not sure if i showed it to you guys oh here's my bear tree i want to um show you some couple of new ornaments we got this year so here is something that a gift that i got from a student which is so pretty when the lights are on and then this is a co-worker i love this one absolutely love that and then there's another one this co-worker got me this the same co-worker got me this uh last year and we love it it's such a cute ornament she got me this one um and then can you tell this is a fox tree fox there foxes there there couple back there oh my co-worker drew this for me for as part of my christmas present that's ava that's just amazing she's such a good artist um but i got these poppers for this year i'm excited to put them out for christmas got that at target since I am cleaning in my room, I thought I would share with you a few things that were gifted to me and a few things that I bought for myself. So the first one is from Costco. This is actually, um, it came with two. So I kept one for myself and then I gave the other one to my sister as a Christmas gift because she sits a lot at work. So I thought this would be um, more comfortable to sit on. It looks like that. And then I also got this for me and her as Christmas gifts. These are hair ties. I didn't know that this was a bird theme. So a lot of these are birds, which I don't love, but I feel like you can't really tell unless you're like really zoomed in and looking at it. Uh, but I thought these were so cute and jazzes up a regular ponytail, which I always have. I'm afraid of lice at school, so I always put it up. Uh, but there's all kinds of other designs as well besides the birds. Just that I feel like birds are everywhere. Um, I also got during the sephora they just had a sale 20 if you're um it was either 15 if you're regular beauty insider if you're vib you got 20 which i am uh an instagrammer i follow always mentions this cleanser so i thought i would try the small one and then here is the kate somerville breakout fighters and i had gotten another set i think a year ago maybe and i absolutely love this thing it really dries out the pimples i was using it wrong uh now i know how to use it um but i wanted to get that this is 55 dollars, and i got um this was 26 so you got to try all these other things which i don't know if that equals a good value but i thought you know what i haven't tried any of this stuff so i um thought it was good for me to get this box you get the eradicate daily foaming cleanser the eradicate this is like a acne treatment and then a moisturizer and then as gifts my co-worker got me this salt and pepper set which i love the way that it looks and i feel like i will be using this i'm always using salt and pepper on my food and this just looks would probably look really cute on the table so happy about that then a student got me these ikea cookies i believe they're swedish with the packaging on here is so cute i'm definitely going to be saving i try not to um if i can help it 
not save packaging like this, but this one definitely will be put to use again. And I love this little bear right there. My, um, my school, they gave everybody this uh there's seeds in here and you could you grow a plant which i think is going to be cute so i gotta i gotta remember to uh do that during this break the co-worker that gave me the um, the santa ornament also got me these which i love spatulas it's one of those things that you always have a bunch of right uh my teacher she got me an old navy gift card and then this golden girls book does she know me or what? I love Old Navy and I love the Golden Girls. And she got everybody a uh, face mask. And what I did for everyone at my job was I got them all cozy socks and some emergency packets. I thought that was kind of a funny thing to do. And then a student got me this uh, bar soap. And then another student, there's this bag in here, which you can never have too many of those, I feel like, when you go shopping. And then... There was dark chocolate in there, but I took that out. And then, of course, some cards. And the families, again, were very generous with me and my teacher. Um, they gave us um, um, very nice gifts. So super, super um, uh, grateful. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now, going through this stuff and sorting it and everything. I decided to make these soft and chewy oatmeal raisin cookies. I believe the recipe is live well, bake well. It seemed like a really simple recipe. I just took the dough out of the fridge because the notes recommended uh, 30 minutes of chilling time and that's to make the, um, the cookies a little bit bigger. If you don't want them thick, then you just leave them out of the fridge. Uh, these are a gift for my stepdad that's coming tomorrow. I already had given him, given him his gr Christmas gift, but he's stopping by tomorrow just for a little bit, and I didn't want him to leave empty-handed, so these are his favorites. And I figured uh, I would give him maybe a dozen, and we'll keep the rest here for us. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm doing. I'm going to put them on these cookie pans and then put them in the oven. I'll show you how they look at the end. Uh, just had a tiff with my grandmother because she's uh it's it's hard living with someone who's much older and you're taking you're their primary caregiver and so i was looking for this bag i had put a bag and a twisty tie on the table right there she was cleaning up something and she threw it away and I was I didn't bother to ask her because I was like why would she do that so I've been looking everywhere for it and then she was like oh no no I think I might have thrown it away and I'm like why do you have to like throw away the stuff that's not yours so anyway I know she's just trying to be helpful but it's it's st stuff like that that happens like all day long so I'm trying not to get frustrated but it's kind of hard sometimes anyway here are the cookies they came out amazing looking i the only thing i have to say is the recipe called for the baking time for 10 to 12 minutes this took more than 15 minutes probably 16 17 minutes and maybe because they're so thick but they are beautiful and they taste really good too and i put them in this bag i gave a dozen and this this i'll put in our cookie uh container over there but um i figured this is a nice amount for him if he wants to eat it by himself. Or I, I know that he's going to go visit some family later on, uh, my stepdad. So uh, later on tomorrow night. And I figured he might share it with his granddaughters there. So yeah, fantastic recipe. I highly recommend. Okay, so got my entire to-do list done. And then I'm just going to add here, did I already? I said baked clams. And actually bake creme brulee. I made the mixture tonight just to make life easier. I am finishing the night in the basement. I do laundry for myself and my grandmother. So that is what I am finishing up right now. Things dried in the dryer. Yes, that's where things dry. And I did so much this evening. I finished cutting up all the veggies for Christmas dinner. So I cut up all the veggies like potatoes, carrots, asparagus, string beans, 
so that I can cook it Tuesday and then just heat up on Wednesday. And then I also made the baked clams. I figured that I could just do ahead of time and then they'll just go in the oven tomorrow. And then I also made the dessert, which was creme brulee. I made the mixture and then I'll just have to bake that as well. So um, got a lot of stuff done, which I am very happy about. If I'm out of frame, I'm just getting more laundry to fold. And I don't know why I like to do things ahead of time. It's really, well, I'll let you know. I am super, super lazy and I like to sleep in. So the more I can sleep in, the more stuff I'll do the day before. And I'm not going to be able to sleep in as much as I would like because um, we were having visitors tomorrow. And um, I know my grandmother is going to want to do stuff early, even though I tell her she could relax. She doesn't know how to relax. Um, and then, um, but I am, I feel pretty good about it. I got everything off, crossed off my to-do list, which is always a great feeling. And I'm going to take a shower and get ready for bed. I'm not going to go to bed right now. It's maybe, it's not 11 o'clock yet, but it's going to get there soon. And just going to relax. I have to just bring, I had wrapping paper up for like two weeks just because I was wrapping gifts. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get any more gifts. I'm waiting for just one more thing that's coming from China. So that probably won't get here until another month. Uh, but that was to, to be expected. I decided to get this last minute. So totally understandable. And if this video is too long, I'll turn this into maybe like a part one and part two. I hope you guys are all doing well. And thank you for spending the day with me. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.